Today we gather around the communion table, which as we have just talked about, we are running this race with perseverance. And as we run this race, we need food for the journey. So think of this as our pit stop for the week, recognizing that we need food and grace as we continue to run in the way of Christ. So join us in this communion liturgy together with us. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. So we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise eternal God through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is our great high priest who has entered once for all into the heavenly sanctuary evermore to pour upon your church the grace and comfort of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, all creation yearns with eager longing for the day the risen Christ returns to make all things new. And so we join the angels and the archangels in praising you, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and he gave you thanks. He broke it and he gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Christ, we welcome you. Your broken body speaks to us of your vulnerable and tender love. As you have well, as your broken body brought healing to many, may we welcome those in their brokenness. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. And so Christ, we welcome you. Your cup speaks a better word than the violence and payback mentality of our world. Through saying no to aggression, you have brought us peace and you have forgiven us. So may we forgive others. Let us proclaim the great mystery of faith together. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God, pour out your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine, that in eating and drinking we may be made into a living temple and be made one with Christ and one another. Amen. Amen. These are God's holy gifts for God's holy people. So take, eat, Eat and and drink. drink. Remember Remember and and believe. believe. The The body body and and blood blood of Christ Christ given for for the the complete complete forgiveness forgiveness of of all all our sins and and the healing healing of the world. Thank you, God. For you have met us with your love and nourished us at his table. As God's pilgrim people, may we continue to explore the way of Christ and grow in friendship with God, in love for his people, and in serving others. Amen. Amen. And so as we come to our God who has placed all of these people in our lives to help us out and to encourage us along in our faith, let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for the many people throughout the ages who have followed your way of life joyfully, for the many saints and martyrs, men and women who have offered up their lives so that your life abundant may be seen in others and that your kingdom may advance. For your love and faithfulness, we will at all times praise your name. O Lord, we thank you for those who choose the way of your Son, our brother Jesus Christ. In the midst of trial, they hold out hope 
In the midst of hatred, they kindle love. In the midst of persecutions, they witness to your power. And in the midst of despair, they cling to your promise. We pray for the ministries around the world and here at home, for the Asia ministry team in Bangladesh, for the churches of the Christian Reformed Church in Lake Superior in that classes, for here, First Christian Reformed Church in Rocky Mountain House, and for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Lacombe. Father, we pray that they would hold out the hope of Jesus so that others may fix their eyes on him as well. For the sound ministry team here at Woody Nook and for Sean and Becky Fulkerts as we send them and bless them in their work. Father, we pray for all those who are connected to Woody Nook, especially those who are listed in our bulletin. We pray, Father, that you would continue to lead and guide them. We give you thanks for Jacob Nicholas, born to Aaron and Ashley. We pray, Father, for a blessing upon them, for healing and a release of Jacob quickly, and that he would grow to be one who comes and follows and is in love with you. For your love and faithfulness, we will at all times praise your name. O Lord, we thank you for the truth others have learned and passed on to us, that it is by giving that we shall receive. It is by becoming weak that we shall be strong, that it is by loving others that we shall be loved, that it is by offering ourselves that the kingdom will unfold. It is by dying that we shall inherit life everlasting. Lord, give us courage to follow your way of life. For your love and faithfulness, we will at all times praise your name. In Jesus we pray. Amen. And today, our offerings, or this week, we will be collecting for Woody Nook Ministries and for Resonate Global, the ways in which we as a denomination have been working to spread this good news about Jesus around the world and here at home. May God bless us as we give. This morning, we have been encouraged by the great community of saints that is around us, whether we know that they are or not. And we have been fed for the journey, for the way of Christ, for this race that we are running. And so as you go from here to continue walking in that way and running this race that is set before you in your life, receive God's blessing to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And all God's people say, 